Hey everyone, it's Nate the Vinyl Guide and I am here in steamy Las Vegas, Nevada in front of this green building. Now this green building, it may look nondescript and it's just on a regular street corner, but this is home of Wax Tracks Records. And uh, I gotta tell you, this building here is incredible. I've now been here for about an hour and a half and I could easily spend another seven or eight hours here. Look, look just inside the door. It's just magical goodness here. Uh, these are new vinyl arrivals here, which I can quickly take you through there. There's uh, Rich and Handsome Dave there. Uh, they're, uh, they're behind the counter and making sure all goes smooth. And this is Charlie the dog who will uh, take out an ankle if you act up. Now here, you got to step over a bunch of stuff because they just got piles and piles of records here, which is... You know, not never a problem for me, but man, let me tell you, it's right here, new arrivals, new arrivals, Stooges, with the with the, the very first pressing, New Order, Morrissey, what else, Smashing Pumpkins, Jackie McLean, right here in front is a Led Zeppelin Ludwig pressing. Uh, stuff is kind of stacked here. It's a little bit, you know, you got to do a little bit of movement here, but once you start getting in here. They got some incredible stuff. And, I, and this is just the beginning. This is just the first two feet inside the shop. Let me get you through some of the other stuff. Just to give you an idea of the sort of stuff that you'll see at Wax Tracks Records here. Now, I'm going to start over here because this is kind of the, I don't want to say collector's corner, but there is a lot of uh, top dollar records here in this, this section here. 13th floor elevators, obviously you know what that is. There's a, an original Blue Train, John Coltrane. There is a Beatles Butcher cover, second uh, condition, second state. You can see by the uh, V uh, behind the paste over. And inside this area, I mean, I'm just speechless. There's so much incredible, incredible collectible records here. And these are first pressings, or very close to. Uh, there's not a whole lot of fluff here in this shop. Um, some of the stuff that I saw that was pretty incredible are Ramones first pressing demo version. And it's in quite good shape. This is the one where the label says Beat is on the Brat, which is uh, quite amusing. If you're looking for a first pressing of that Ramones self-titled album, look at the label. Beat is on the Brat is the misprint. Uh, here inside the collectible jazz some early Art Blakey's, you know, uh, God, I'm just amazed by some of this. This is a uh, uh, West uh, 60, 43 West 61st Street. Uh, here it is. And it's a deep groove from the uh, Lomacan Music in Pittsburgh. That's where it originally sold from. Pardon? We got a problem on Kenny Burrell. Uh-oh, got a problem on Kenny Burrell. Oh, hang on. I gave him a stack of records to look at for me. Donald Byrd. All early blue notes stacked in here. Oop, hang on, I'm trying to focus this camera here. How come this is not focusing? Okay, here we go. All right. Ah, uh, yes. Just, let me just flip through here. There's some amazing stuff. Right here in these racks. It's a stereo. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. I gotta, I gotta take you around the corner if you think that's impressive. I mean, it's all good stuff. Don't get me wrong. Lou Donaldson Quartet. This is uh, a Lexington Blue Note. I saw an early, yeah, Bill Evans Mono. Everybody digs Blue Evans. Uh, everybody digs Bill Evans on Riverside. A blue mono small label. Oh, Sonny Rollins. I didn't even flip through the Sonny Rollins stuff. Oh, oh man. Oh, man, oh, man. This record costs more than my car, I bet. Um, oh, or a silver. Oh, man. Oh. All right. So, if you're looking for it, uh, there's a really good chance that you'll find it here at Wax Tracks. And 
then these guys over here will take care of you for it. So um, I'm not even going to get much into the 45s. I, I don't know a whole lot about the 45 market, uh, quite honestly. But i got to tell you, they have a heap of them here. And there's a lot of uh, radio station promo copies here. I'm just, I just reached in and I pulled one out. Promo copy. Promo copy. I mean, it's a little ridiculous <laughs> at some point. But it's also part museum as well. You'll see, you know, Kiss figures, Groucho Marx. You'll see uh, sheet music. You'll see pictures. There's a jukebox. And uh, let's now go around the corner a bit here. I'll show you some really interesting stuff. Um, down here... Oh, here we go. Okay. Gold and platinum records on the walls. Uh, three levels of records. Now, to give you an idea, these are the racks for the audiophile versions. So the original master recordings, um, the limited, the uh, uh, MFSL versions, they're all right here. This is just this section right here. So if you're looking for one of the audiophile pressings, you know, there's a chance they have at least one, sometimes multiple copies of those, uh, those pressings. Amazing. Amazing. All right. So that gives you an idea of the sort of stuff that they have here in the audiophile section. Let me show you the jazz section, okay? Jazz. All right. This is jazz, okay? Now, I'm going to be very prescriptive here. Let's look at John Coltrane, okay? Here's Coltrane. Alice Coltrane, it's actually, the C, the, it wraps around alphabetically. C ends over there with Alice Coltrane. John picks up here, okay? Now, when it comes to uh, Love Supreme, here are the Love Supremes right here. You could, let me see if I can focus that. There you go. And these are all first pressing. These are stereos. I haven't found a mono in here yet, but they have multiple first pressing stereos. Uh, AS77 was the impulse catalog number. So if you're looking for an original pressing of John Coltrane, A Love Supreme, especially a stereo version, you'll find multiple ones here to be able to choose from. Um, my favorite things, original pressing. Uh, set the pace, I don't have that one. Uh, I'm speechless. Um, let me show you some, uh, I think this is Miles Davis here. Can you read the, the spines here? Let me turn it sideways here. Which one do you want to see? Uh, Walking? Right here. Multiple versions of Miles Davis All Stars Walking. Oh, I feel faint. Here's a cooking. He's walking and cooking. I believe this would be a West 50th. Whoop, oh, almost spilling this here. There's a Bergenfield version, and then there's a West 50th here. The West 50th is worth quite a bit. Let's see. There it is. West 50th Street. Copy of cooking. It's in quite nice shape, too. Ay, ay, ay. This place is a gold mine. Now. That's just, I just wanted to give you an idea of what you're looking at there. Now, here is some of the soul and the funk. Again, not expecting you to read all these spines here, but uh, to give you an idea, here is the uh, funkadelic section. Where does it start here? America eats its young. Uncle Jam wants you. U.S. Funk Mob. Right there. Multiple copies of those. 
Um, Michael Jackson, Thriller, 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 Thriller. Well, that's not too much of a surprise. It was like the best-selling album of all time. Um, the Meters. Oh, geez, I didn't even start to look at the Meters. Um, that's a repress. They have multiple copies of Rejuvenation. What else they got here? Oh, yes, Cabbage Alley. Okay, so they do have some represses in here. But that's all right. Oh, man, Curtis Mayfield. Just a whole section just on Curtis Mayfield. Um, and then the blues. Here's the blues. I've got to kind of walk around here very tightly. Here is the John Lee Hooker bit. So, section just of John Lee Hooker. Muddy Waters is here. Huge. Right here. Several copies of Electric Mud. Hard again. Fathers and Sons. And goes to Johnny Guitar Watson. And that is the jazz, blues, and funk section. As well as the audio file. And uh, some of the spoken word. Here are 78s. Again, I really can't... This is talk too much about the 78s because it's beyond my expertise outside of my comfort zone but looks like there's plenty here to choose from if you are uh, so inclined and again that's one level let's go up to another level all right even more toys up here look at all the nippers all right oh, this beautiful jukebox my goodness Ah. Oh. Do I need a do I need a quarter to play it? No, no. It's, if the red light, will, the green light will come on. You should be able to make a selection. Oh, so. okay. All right. <laughs> a working AMI music jukebox. I tell you what. I'll go up upstairs and I'll circle back and the sucker will be on. And we'll pick a song. All right, and up the steps here. There's a bunch of CDs. Look at this rock section. Oh, man. Monkeys, Elton, Doors, Zeppelin. Let's just do a quick pass of the Zepps. Yeah, they got pretty much the standard Zepp fare here. They got the original Doors. This is the, the uh, die cut one. Oh, yeah, with a butterfly label. Oh, there it is right there. Some of the records they do have descriptions on, but others they just kind of pile in here because, I mean, really, who has time to go through all this? And Floyd, my friend Chuck, would love this section. Um, and Beach Boys. Beatles, Lennon, McCartney, it's not just Beatles, but Lennon, McCartney, George Harrison, Ringo Starr. Oh, man. Turn the corner here. They have some Stooges, Steppenwolf, Status Quo. They've got uh, Kiss dolls, Beatles dolls. There's Gene Simmons up there. Of course, books galore. Movie posters and prints. And then we'll head over here to check out what I think is the last room, one of the last rooms. Oh, this one has the lights off, so I'm assuming that's not a room we're welcome in just yet. And these are, as they describe, oldies. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, Bill Haley, Chubby Checker, Bo Diddley, those sort of cats, Fats Domino. And then uh, the drifters. Then here's some stereo equipment, and uh, and more records over here. It looks like soundtracks. So uh, <laughs> original jackets and different memorabilia from Las Vegas, and just in general all the music that's run through Vegas. Uh, this place again, it's like half record store, half museum, but 100% fun. So, here we go. Wax Tracks Records here in Las Vegas. To me, this is the number one attraction. This is incredible. This is the biggest... 
This is the biggest collection. You said the biggest collection. No, make a selection. Ah. Oh, excellent. Okay, so I'm going to end this video here by making a selection. What am I going to choose? Um, let me do... Oh, Stormy Weather. By the Five Shits. Oh, interesting. Okay. There we go. Oh, man. Definitely... If you plan on spending some time in Las Vegas, come to Wax Tracks and plan on spending a good couple hours just going through here. These are nice guys. They love to show you around. They enjoy music and they love talking music. It's a great place to spend half an afternoon. So there we go, Wax Tracks Records. Make sure you put it on your bucket list to get here at some point. For The Vinyl Guide, this is Nate. Make sure to subscribe to our podcast, www.thevinylguide.com. And of course, to view more videos of amazing record shops and spots around the world, subscribe to this YouTube channel. All right, from sunny Las Vegas, this is Nate, Wax Tracks Records. Until next time, keep spinning. Cheers. Oh, bring us together.